is there at Superfont to simulate a typewriter. I need to have a realistical output as if I had typed with a typewriter. For this a font is not enough, I found many of them at this address but they are just fonts. I need something more, like a font that has 5 or 10 different images for each letter. So every time I type a r a I have a random e r a if there are 5 samples they will be randomly extracted. Does this exist? Moreover I would like to have some random spacing so that the final result really seems made with a typewriter. Is there a super font or maybe there is a word option for activating randomness or some dedicated emulator? TLDR, FF Trixie. But the real advancement is found in FF Trixie HD, which contains seven alternates for each character, each with its own weight and texture. Just like typewritten forms, the letters dance on the baseline and reveal the effect of ink on the ribbon. Van Blokland didn't stop there. Playing with OpenType's ability to automatically substitute glyphs, he added a variety of clever effects such as more erratic baseline shifting, both true and faux Greek and Cyrillic, and sensor simulation. Is there a super font? My first thought was, fonts don't have the capabilities, unless someone unusually obsessive does something exceptionally clever in true type hinting, but it turns out I am wrong, there are fonts with some of the features you seek. With Bernard Desruisseau, we developed a randomized PostScript Type 3 font in 1996 that incorporates various interesting parameter choices. Because of its conceptual closeness with Nuth's Metafont, Bernard's font family is called Metamorphont. This font introduces randomness in every glyph, a nice feature of Type 3 fonts not available in TrueType or Type 1. Bernard finished about three glyphs per week, because each glyph is an intricate program that had to be tested and retested. The font has six major multiple master axes or parameters, the amount of randomness, the stress angle, the contrast ratio, the stroke thickness, the outline mode, and the jumpiness of the glyphs. There are 10 minor parameters, for a total of 9132 lines of PostScript code. For each setting of the parameters, the font is fully random, each glyph produced is never repeated. Partially discussed here by John Butler, the randomize feature in OpenType allows a cyclic substitution of glyphs by other ones, for example, to create the feel of randomness if each glyph has several slightly different implementations. This principle dates from the late 80s, when Signature Software first tried it in its handwritten font software. Those were Type 3 fonts where such things were easy to do. Of course, randomize is not the right word. As of early 2006, no major software supports OpenType's randomize feature but John Butler managed to get around it using the contextual alternates feature. Or maybe there is a word option for activating randomness. It's such a specialized idea that I imagine it is unlikely to be a standard option in a conventional mass market word processor. This is an evasive way of saying I don't know. Or some dedicated emulator. Well, you can rasterize the output and post-process it with an image manipulation tool. Here's an example. 